Well, if you look over there, that is apparently a favorite home or a wannabe favorite home for some birds. And they've gotten in a few times to the, the, the smokestack over there um, over the past couple of years. But this last one, last two times, it was two birds, right? Yes. What kind of birds were they? I don't know, small ones. <laughs> I, small birds. Were they um, wrens? Sounds good to me. Or they weren't the acrobats, right? They weren't the barn swallows. No, those are purple martins. Um, anyway, I went to the hardware store and they've got some chicken wire. Yeah, I think that's what you would call this. They call it poultry netting. Um, chicken wire. Poultry, chick yeah. So usually they have a wire, yep, that they bind it with. So I'm just gonna steal that wire to secure it up top, at least a couple of them. And, uh, and I'm gonna cut a section. Boy, they got it wrapped all the way around there. Um, to cover. Struggle of getting this out. Oh, look at that. Oh, it like folded it back on itself, which is a good idea. A lot of people do that to make it stronger at the end when they wire it to a post. I'm gonna leave it like that. Cause you know, you'd think a one inch opening wouldn't be enough for birds to get through, but they're probably like those little wrens could, if they were stubborn enough, they could probably get through there. So I'm actually gonna take that section. And I'm gonna leave it kind of pokey. If you wanna come over here so you can see, I'm gonna cut, gosh darn. There, I'm gonna cut, um, so there's, pokies on both sides that's the official term I'm sure pokies maybe I'll go here now and just enough to go around once because this is doubled over essentially twice that's eight inches around uh, well diameter I can't do circle math in my head. Something about pi. I don't know. I wonder if there's any relation between pi being the number related to circles and the fact that pi that you eat is in the shape of a circle. Do you think there's anything to that? I have no idea. You have no idea? <laughs> I'm going to go with that. I, I think that's a thing. So about eight inches diameter. Yep, that'll go around it. So we'll cut, I guess I could just go all the way. I mean, might as well at this point. You can stop it and start it again, camera lady, so that I can edit later. So we've got it, it cut out and it is doubled back over itself. So we're less than an inch. Birds would really have to be wanting to get in there. And I'm gonna take a couple sections of these. I don't need that long. Couple short sections of wire to uh, have to clean this up later. Couple short sections of wire to secure it. Let's do it. You can probably stop it. Uh, whoo, that's bright. Are you already recording? Mm -hmm. So I should have worn my sunglasses. You know, you forget that it's 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 hazy because of the weather problem we're having. The What's that, Canadian wildfires, right? I think so, yeah. And uh, so if you want to pan, camera lady, you can see just how hazy it is. And this morning I went outside and I actually smelled. I couldn't believe it, I actually smelled the fire. Like smoke, it, you're not just seeing a haze, you can literally, I mean, we're a thousand, two thousand, whatever miles away from the forest fires and we can actually still smell it, which was, Surprising. I mean, unless I'm smelling somebody that's burning closer by. I mean, that's possible, I guess. But um, yeah, but this white Shasta that we put up on the roof for the shingle color, I, will, I really like it. But man, when you're up here, it sure is a wee bit bright, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, it's a good thing I went all the way to the end because we're going to use every bit of it. Yep. Nothing fancy here. Just got to make sure I actually get it covered. Ah, wants to come up. 
There we go. Uh, the pieces of wire, if you want to come over here and, I mean, of course, I'm not really doing anything fancy. I'm just wiring it. <sighs> Camera lady's shielding her eyes, too. It's bright. The haze makes it worse. It scatters it. So I can actually use this wire twice. I can wire it down here, and it's long enough. I can come up here and run it through. Maybe. And hopefully this will keep the birds out of here because they were getting in, trying to make a nest or whatever. It looks like a nice spot, it's covered, and uh, then they're falling down through and they can't scratch their way out. They did help clean the stovepipe out though, didn't they, a couple mm -hmm. times. I was like, man, they're doing a good job. Who needs a chimney sweep when you've got some birds that get in there? Now, let's see, all the way around. That actually looks pretty darn good, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, that almost looks like a product you would have bought for the purpose. Now, what I can do too is just bend a few of these wires. It's like the perfect size. I got lucky. That was just by chance. I mean, I guessed. I guessed right about the size. I mean, this is just perfect. So I can put some of those tabs basically back. And it's already wrapped on the top pretty well. Yeah. What do you think of that camera lady? Yep. Anyway, if we just jump off, off in the pool, what do you think? No. No? Okay. Camera lady's no fun. Have a good one. Keep them birds out.